how you found your role, kind of. You said that you did a lot of working hard and you it kind of like worked in your favor and, and like all evened out. But how did you figure out like what your role was for that team? Okay, so um, I think one of the biggest things that helped me out is that people kind of knew who I was already going into St. Raymond's. Like um, I, went to the, I went to the elementary school, so the coaches there kind of knew who I was. So that kind of helped. Um, so they knew the type of ball player I was. Um, I was a scorer. I was a shooter. So those are the things that kind of when I went into St. Raymond's, there were other guys that were there that didn't, they really didn't fit that role, you know, and, mm -hmm. and you being a shooter and I saw a lot of film on you, you know, that's the thing you got to take advantage of. Like there's probably, I would say the percentage is anywhere between 20 to 25% where there's guys that could really, that could shoot. And then there's that 10 to 15% of guys that could really shoot that are like, unlimited range or unconscious shooters. And I, I would say that you would probably say equate that to like a Ray Allen, um, you know, a Steph Curry, those type of yeah, guys. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so your strength is shooting. So you should be, you know, focusing on that, but also getting better at those other skills that you need to work on. Um, but the way I found my role was, you know, I, I looked at the makeup of our team at the time and I was like, I'm not a super fancy ball handler. I'm not a super fancy passer. Um, I'm not a rebounder, so what can I do best when I'm on the floor? And like, if they pass me the ball and I'm open, I'm going to score. So that's kind of how I found my role. And I, and I, played, for, I played for teams that were really good. My freshman team, I think, we, were, we went to the city championship and we lost to Christ the King, and we were 20 – we were like 25-2 and two that year. So the, the game we lost, the city championship game we lost was our second loss all year. Um, when I was on the JV team, we beat – uh, Zavarian in the city championship, and we were like again, like twenty six and one. Um, you know, my first, my junior year on varsity, we were like twenty eight and three. And we won the city championship versus Lachlan, and then my senior year, we were like twenty five and five, and we lost in the I think the quarterfinals to Malloy. So you were spoiled um, as hell, is what you're saying. Basically, he's a, he's a winner. He's a winner, basically. That's what he's exactly, saying. exactly. And 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 you know, and you and you guys are winners. You know, you're a winner. So and, and continue that tradition. Um, you know, but finding my role was like I just kind of fit in where where it was at the time on that team. You know, uh, I was a six man as a junior, and I didn't care. Like I was fine with that. But I was also the third leading scorer as a junior, playing behind Terrence Renter and, and Orlando Antigua, who were all Americans. So. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you got to start. It doesn't necessarily mean you got to be the leading scorer. You know, that team, my junior year, we, we had eight Division One players. And I think my, my senior year, we had nine Division One players. So um, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be the man to be successful.